Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nelson. Whoa, this is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. And as I promised last week, we were able to get on ice for today's episode. But before we talk about today's show, what I want to do is I want to tell you about a fun event that we've got scheduled for January 7th through January 10th up on Leech Lake. And every winter, what we do is we put together a get together. And what that is, it's an event where fishermen that love to ice fish get together fish together, catch a bunch of fish, tell a bunch of stories, and just generally have a great time. Last spring we held that type of event out of Ballard's on Lake of the Woods. This year we're out of Trapper's Landing on Leech Lake. Now as many of you probably know, Leech Lake has been home to a fantastic walleye, smallmouth, and muskie bite over the last couple years, and we do expect that bite to continue through the ice fishing season. So this is a great opportunity to get together with a lot of the guys here from In-Depth Outdoors, other members of the In-Depth Outdoors website, and those that just love to watch the show. So if you're interested in more information about this event, go to our website, indepthoutdoors.com. Right there at the top of the homepage, you're gonna see a graphic that's gonna lead you right to the information you need to attend this event. So do check it out. It's gonna be a wonderful time. So that brings us to today's show. Uh, last week I promised we were going to get on ice and we did that, but it was not easy. To really find some safe ice to fish, we had to drive west a long way. We actually ended up all the way out to the Montana-Idaho border where we found ourselves on Henry's Lake, which if you're a trout fisherman, you have definitely heard of this destination. It is home to some of the biggest cutthroat, cut bows, and brook trout in the country. And when we arrived at Henry's Lake, they had a nice safe three to five inches of ice for walking. And what we encountered was a phenomenal bite. So do stick around. I think you're gonna to love today's show. It's me and Andy Fiolka out on Henry's Lake catching big trout through the ice today on In-Depth Outdoors. Whoa, give her beans, man. Give her beans. Oh. All right. Doesn't feel, whoa, it doesn't feel very big. It doesn't matter. It's the first fish of the day. We like it. That's a cool fish, man. That was, all I heard was the pop and I turned around and there it was. That's probably what, maybe it's, that 15, 16 inch? That fish there up in, um, you know, the northern portions of Minnesota. A powerful uh, little thing. Would, would be phenomenal. People would be giddy to catch a fish like that. Is he kicking your butt a little bit? He is. Super nice fish. So is that a cutthroat or is it a hybrid? I think it's I, a hybrid, isn't it? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I think so with the bright uh, red cheek like that would dictate the rainbow in it. And then you still got your, your cutthroat there under the gills. Pure, pretty We're fish. <laughs> They're not trout connoisseurs by any stretch. Well, that, that fish would be a, a real quality fish uh, up in the arrowhead of Minnesota. I mean, I've gone uh, probably on uh, three trout specific focus trips in the last couple of years, and I haven't caught anything bigger than that. So for that to be our first fish, that, uh, that's a great pretty start. exciting. Yes, exactly. On the ice, 2015, 16, and the first fish. I fish pro, man. I fish pro. Bonus fish. Just a ball of muscle is all they are. They are so strong. Nice all right, job, fish. Man. Well, bye. I don't. I would, I would give you a high five, but uh, I'm snot rocking it up there. I'm okay. <laughs> nice job. Hi, fish. Hi, fish. Woo! <laughs> I get him. Get away, ball. Fish on. Fighting like a devil, too. I'll give you a hand here. Ooh. Let me swing around. Go over here. Get that clip. Thank you. All right. We're just using little jigs, little pug bugs, little tunks and tubbies, just wadded up. Wow. And away she goes. This was worth a 17 hour drive. 
While back at home, there's absolutely no ice anywhere. We're sitting on, well, there's probably four or five inches here. Well, you can kind of tell where I'm at. I got the bobber step back in the reel now. We're only fishing about five or six feet down, so it's really close. These fish, they just get, when they get below the hole, they just freak out. It's not like a walleye or a pike or whatever, where it kind of does most of its fighting away from the hole, trying to stay down deep. These guys save everything right until that hole is right next to their nose. It's almost like they have a reverse mode they can go in and... <laughs> oh man, I do not want to lose this fish. I'm gonna run to the top of the to tallest peak and yell. <laughs> That's a long ways up there. <laughs> I mean, I could try to lift him with two pound test line or three pound line, whatever oh, it is. Oh yeah. I don't want to bump him off. I don't want you to do that either. He's all yours. There. <laughs> Whew. That was a lot of fish and a lot of fight. That what a cool did. fish. I grew up doing this in Southern Minnesota. You know, if you live in Austin, Minnesota, that's like Iowa North. There's not a lot of lakes to choose from. So it's all Southern Minnesota trout streams. That would be a fish of a summer for me. I could fish all year long and catch one. That's, that's, a, that's a 20 inch fish. Beautiful fish. Gave me everything I could handle on that little bullet. And that- uh, Pug bug on that one. Yep, yeah, that jig right in the roof of the mouth. That fish is gonna be just dandy. There's why they call it a cutthroat right there. If you can see this right on the bottom of their gill there, that red line, pretty fish. Very pretty fish. All right, we're gonna let that fish go. That's definitely the biggest cutthroat I've ever caught. See, I was into trout fishing so much when I was in high school and, you know, early 20s. I'd go down to like Arkansas and fish on the White River or, sure. you know, the North Fork. So I've caught some cutthroat before, but never this big. That's a nice fish. It's real thick. All right. Later, fish. Nearly 70 years ago, a simple idea was taking form in the heart of the ice belt. That idea was, if you combined a commitment to quality with a passion for the sport of ice fishing, you could build a better ice auger. From that idea, StrikeMaster was born. Forever committed to innovation in the quest to build a lighter, more durable auger. StrikeMaster, powerful, durable, reliable. New from Yamaha, outboards that combine VMAX SHO performance and reliability with a 25-inch shaft link. Introducing the VMAX SHO 150 and 250 horsepower outboards. Yamaha's VMAX SHO outperforms two strokes on whole shot, weighs less, and boasts up to 12% better fuel economy than competitive two strokes. This means multi-species boaters can enjoy the benefits that have made the VMAX SHO famous. Stop into your Yamaha dealer today and experience the game-changing VMAX SHO now with a 25-inch shaft. VMC's dominating line of panfish baits just got even better. With the introduction of new baits molded from high-density tungsten, the Miracle Metal that offers the same weight as traditional lead at half the size. The platoon of new baits include the Tungsten Fly, fast-sinking VMC Nymph and Waxtail soft baits pre-rigged on VMC tungsten jigs, and the innovative tungsten chandelier jig that targets roaming panfish like a fish-seeking missile. The next time you hit the ice, tie on a tungsten, and you'll be fishing fast and taking names with VMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods. Ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Got him. There we go. Yeah, it feels like a really good one. We're kind of out of that uh, prime time of the morning now where you know, everything this morning would come in and just absolutely just take a swat at the bait. And now with this really high sun and clear conditions, they're taking a good look at it now. I'm fishing a little bit smaller spoon. I've got this uh, 1 12th ounce tumbler on. Ooh, this is a nice trout. And I think the smaller spoon is kind of convincing them to eat here under these bright conditions. Look at that fish. That is a really nice trout. <laughs> just a ton of fun to fight. You know, I love taking trips like this where you just kind of throw caution to the wind, get in the truck and you drive. Just being willing to hop in the truck and take a chance knowing that there was a, you know, a chance, potential to really not catch anything. But what uh, 
turning out here is just a great day on the ice catching these just wonderful hybrids. Oh, and he's got one. <laughs> Such a strong fish. Need a hand, Andy? It's a pretty good one. All right, I'm coming. Oh man, this time I had three, three separate good, uh, good marks come in on the screen and that usually means one thing, that they mean business, so. I'm not running as fast as I was this morning. I didn't get to see yours over there, but uh, hopefully this one's comparable. It was huge, there's no way it could be as big as mine. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh my, look at that fish. Okay. Yes. Uh, there we go, there's your whew. fish, man. Now that is a nice fish. That's uh, the longest fish. The one I just had was Probably a little thicker. taller. Yeah, he was taller, but this is a, the longest fish. I mean, that's look a little 20-inch fish. Look at what he did to that tingler spoon. It uh, is. It's all gone. All right. There we go. go. This thing unhooked here. If I can even see where he's got it. Calling Dr. Fiolka. Let's see if I can do my magic work there. There Perfect. we go. Tingler spoon out. There's your fish, man. We got, we got a pod coming through, obviously. I mean... You had three, you said, on your five three at on one, one time? And one time, and every single one of them was racing to see who could get it first. So I'm going to go back over here to fish. Let's no get, offense, man. <laughs> let this one go and see if we can, maybe we got some active ones in the area now. You know, to when the sun starts to get a little lower later on in the evening, those bigger ones might move in. So Sounds see what good. we can find. There she goes. Another nice Henry's Lake cutthroat. <laughs> Never ending fun today, Mr. Fiolka. Oh, I get that out of there before he gets in the transducer cord, because they love to do that. Man, have we been blessed today with just a ton of nice fish. 18, 20 inch fish. Cookie cutters. All right. Yeah, so before the ice froze, uh, they had some really horrible winds out here that actually broke up the ice pack two, three times. And what that did is it really murked up the water. I mean, as we mentioned earlier, typically we would have really good water clarity, but I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's marginal, I would say. Uh, not good enough to use an underwater camera to really see what's going on down there. And why I bring that up is pretty simple. Uh, I was fishing a small silver uh, tumbler and just wasn't getting the bites anymore while Andy was just consistently in fish. So I went to a larger spoon with that gold back and uh, it didn't take but just a couple of minutes of fishing that larger spoon in that new color, and I got fish on the ice. Let that one go. In you go. Quick breath, and gone. Fish. <laughs> Hands on it. Ah. Woo! This one here is almost certainly for sure a the cut the cut bow hybrid you can really see the uh and slow him down here from going crazy you can really see the prominent pink right down the side the spots like the rainbow and uh, obviously the bright red cheek there so that thing out there very nice fish we've caught just a pile of them like this today and uh you know gorgeous weather we're really enjoying what's going on back here with all these mountains and uh definitely worth the drive so beautiful red underneath the cheek there like the cutthroat has. There he goes, just like that. Very cool. To get some new bait from over there from James, gotta make the walk and uh, bait that up and try and get another one. Seafoam works. At Markham, we know being the leader in ice sonar performance doesn't mean we get to rest on our laurels. Introducing the new iSeries line of flashers. Every model in our new iSeries line combines a bright and vivid display with Markham's advanced sonar technology to produce flasher sonar units that offer a larger display and increased viewing angles without compromising Markham's legendary sonar performance. This winter, don't settle for anything less than an iSeries flasher from Markham, the most powerful high-performance flasher sonar units ever built. 
VMC's dominating line of panfish baits just got even better. With the introduction of new baits molded from high-density tungsten, the Miracle Metal that offers the same weight as traditional lead at half the size. The platoon of new baits include the Tungsten Fly, fast-sinking VMC Nymph and Waxtail soft baits pre-rigged on VMC tungsten jigs, and the innovative tungsten chandelier jig that targets roaming panfish like a fish-seeking missile. The next time you hit the ice, tie on a tungsten, and you'll be fishing fast and taking names with VMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. No matter what moves you, Seafoam works. fish. That's probably one of the nicest sunrises I've seen in a long, long time. And look at this beautiful fish. Oh, there. <laughs> Basically just a replay of yesterday. Just super quality. Beautiful, beautiful trout. I'll be the first to admit here, I don't know that I could identify the difference between a cutthroat and a hybrid. I'm going to guess that's a cutthroat. I really don't care. I am hoping to catch one of those giant hybrids by the end of the day. Uh, we were talking to the DNR um, fisheries guy yesterday, and he said that some of these hybrids will get as big as 14 pounds. Now, I don't expect to catch one that big, but I'm telling you, with that kind of trophy potential, it does keep a guy pretty wired, thinking that next fish could be that fish of a lifetime. I'll let that one go. Definitely not the, uh, the biggest fish I'm gonna catch this winter, but probably uh, the nicest fish catch with the uh, best sunrise. I'm not looking forward to the drive home, but I am super glad that I'm here. I just checked the weather forecast for uh, Minnesota and it does not look like we're gonna have ice anytime soon. So this to me is just a, a gift. Now, where we're gonna find ice next week, I have no idea, but I'm not even worried about that. We're just gonna enjoy uh, today for as much as we possibly can. I gotta get some bait. There's a good one. Did him? That one looks like it might be a little bit better, Andy. I've seen it go by below the hole, but I couldn't tell. Let's see here, the trick is to keep him off the edge of that ice. Yeah, he's got a little weight to him. I think he's a good average, James. Well, then I'll stay over here and try to catch my own. Please do. All right. He might be slightly above average now that he's in the hole. They just, there's no quit in him. Look at this thing. Playing his reverse game there. There you go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, Andy. That is probably my best one of the morning for sure. Really dark. And I misplaced my forceps. Here they are. Real dark colors on that one. That's probably a good what, James? Three pound fish? That's a three pound fish. Just hooked him right in the beak. Get him unhooked from that tingler spoon there. Very nice fish. All right, let's get this one back, see if we can. We still got a lot of big ones running around the area, James. There we go. Look at the colors on that Boom. fish. Boom. And James into a fish over there. I better get this one back. Oh, is this a nice fish? Hand? This is a nice fish. Okay. Ow. 
play assistant. Ooh, you're on some thin ice right here, boy. This is a nice fish. We just scream, drag. He went out about that way, about 50 feet. Just ran drag like that. You can see the line going that way. You know, these rods are pretty cool. I mean, they got that fine tip, but they will handle a big fish. They transition real nice into some meat. For all intents and purposes, like catching mini salmon the way they go. <sighs> this is a whole different caliber here. That's a, yeah, that's not a small fish. Get your head in here. No. Go get him, Andy. Got him. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Holes. <sighs> I cannot imagine trying to fight one of these things at 10 pounds plus. I mean, that is a beautiful fish. That's, that's probably, probably pushing five. I would say. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Look at the colors on him. Want to lend a hand there yeah. and pop that out for me? Yeah, see if I can't. There Got we it? go. Thank you. Oh, all right. We're, we're, a little we're bit. on the fin there somewhere? There we go. All right. Man, I tell you what, that is definitely the biggest stream trout I've ever caught. That's a, <laughs> that's a giant. Through the ice, I mean. All right, back you go. Thanks for the assist on that Not one. Not a problem. I'd, Thanks st for... I'd still be fighting them. That was the highlight of the morning so far. Let's see if we can uh, make another couple. Go get you one. All right. <laughs> Thank you. VMC's dominating line of panfish baits just got even better. With the introduction of new baits molded from high-density tungsten, the Miracle Metal that offers the same weight as traditional lead at half the size. The platoon of new baits include the Tungsten Fly, fast-sinking VMC Nymph and Waxtail soft baits pre-rigged on VMC tungsten jigs, and the innovative tungsten chandelier jig that targets roaming panfish like a fish-seeking missile. The next time you hit the ice, tie on a tungsten, and you'll be fishing fast and taking names with VMC. C. New from Yamaha, outboards that combine VMAX SHO performance and reliability with a 25-inch shaft link. Introducing the VMAX SHO 150 and 250 horsepower outboards. Yamaha's VMAX SHO outperforms two strokes on whole shot, weighs less, and boasts up to 12% better fuel economy than competitive two strokes. This means multi-species boaters can enjoy the benefits that have made the VMAX SHO famous. Stop into your Yamaha dealer today and experience the game-changing VMAX SHO now with a 25-inch shaft. Nearly 70 years ago, a simple idea was taking form in the heart of the ice belt. That idea was, if you combined a commitment to quality with a passion for the sport of ice fishing, you could build a better ice auger. From that idea, StrikeMaster was born. Forever committed to innovation in the quest to build a lighter, more durable auger. StrikeMaster, powerful, durable, reliable. I don't mind walking over to 12 feet to give you a hand. <laughs> you know how these trout are. You think you got the, you think you got a good one, it ends up just being a feistier 18, 20 incher, but what fun, huh? Oh, he's barely better than average is all. Just a well, it's a good, it's a good average. It's an ordinary one. Yep. There you go. Here you go. Cool. Oh. Right there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the hand. That's kind of tough to do by yourself. It's my pleasure. Let's see if we can get a hold of this guy. Wow, look at the colors on this fish. Four steps here, we'll see if we can't get this guy unhooked. What a pretty fish, look at those colors. That's the cool part about trout is they're easy on the eyes too. Let's see if we can't just hold him here quick and pop this treble hook out. Simple as that. Man, we've had quite the morning so far and we're still getting going, so. All right, what a beautiful fish, let's let her go. Fish and trout, the slime is a constant struggle. Got it. This is a good fish. Yes, it is. I didn't get a great look at it, but I could see that uh, she was really wide across the back when she went through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> That's way bigger than the first. That is that, a lot bigger. The first big one, <laughs> quote unquote. Of course, it's not in the hole yet, so. Come on. I haven't even seen where it's hooked. I mean, she just won't let her head come near that hole at all. You know, growing up in southern Minnesota, I did a lot of trout fishing. And you'd read all the articles and watch the TV shows about guys fishing, you know, blue ribbon quality water, and you don't really have a feel for what that means. 
once you get to experience it, you it's, know, you, you understand what the reputation's all about. It's impressive. She knows right where the hole's at. She wants nothing to do with it. She sk skirts the edge. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. <laughs> That's huge. It fills up the whole entire hole when it goes by. Come on, fish. I just hope she doesn't catch a barb on that spoon or the ice. We have to get a good look at this one. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. The minute I get my hand down, she backs up. It's not a big enough hole for this fish. There she goes. All right. Get her, get her, get her. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't. That is a thick. She wasn't going thick. anywhere. She had to break the line to get off that. My gosh. That is a big trout. You want to uh, pop that hook out of there? Absolutely, I will. I had just switched over to that same gold 1 8 ounce tingler spoon that you were using. There it is. What an absolute stud of a fish. I've never caught a, uh, a hybrid, period, obviously, but a rainbow that big, that, I've never caught a rainbow that big before. It's a beautiful fish. And I did a lot of trout fishing in my earlier days. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna put this fish back. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Worth every mile of that drive. Everything about this trip has just been amazing. From the numbers, the scenery, we've had uh, a couple of big fish. Obviously that one is just a giant. You know, back at home, we've got no ice. Everybody that watches the show, of course, is gonna turn off the TV after it's all done. You're gonna be pumped to get out there and do some fishing of your own. Please be careful. I think we're probably looking at that first week of December before we're going to have widespread ice anywhere in Minnesota. So if you're looking to get out on a, a great bite, you know, this Henry's Lake is something you might want to consider. And Andy, I want to thank you. I know you spent some time out here working and you've shared a couple phenomenal bites with us here at End Up Outdoors over the last couple winters. It was an honor to do so. And, uh, you know, both things. There's, if you think outside the box on different places in a year like this, when we can't get out on the ice when we really want to, put some fuel in the truck and make a drive. Gas is cheap right now. It is, and it's, you know, when you get on a bite like this, it makes every single bit of it seem worth it, so. I don't know how many fish we've caught over the last couple days, 50, Oof. I have no idea. But uh, the fight on these fish on light gear is incredible. And the scenery, even if the bite's a little slow, the scenery makes it all worthwhile. Over the shoulder. So I think uh, next week we're gonna have quite a challenge here at End Up Outdoors, so just trying to find some more ice, some safe ice back in the Midwest. Obviously we can't have our mail forwarded out here, so we're gonna have to go home sooner or later. <laughs> so everybody, be patient, be safe when we get back there in the Midwest. And from Andy and I, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Trout slime. Have some of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get going. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.